Right. Uh, great. So Neeraj, uh, Tejas, and Derek, I think uh, you guys can open up for questions, and the team yeah. is available to answer. All right. So again, uh, like one of the first questions we got from Mr. Charan Kumar was, uh, uh, like, first of all, about the app issues. Were all the app issues fixed? Is the question that Mr. Charan Kumar was asking. Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, Charan, uh, I would say majority of the app issues are are kind of closed. Some of them are pretty device specific and very user specific, which we get to know as we kind of uh, 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 go ahead. Uh, but majority are closed and uh, we got immediate quick feedback and we did the beta testing as well super amount of feedback that we got we have resolved all of those issues uh, i can i can vouch for it however there are few minor uh, glitches issues pending in select mobile devices the we have even put those mobile devices uh, out uh, on on our website or uh, i think in one of our communications on which devices are facing these continual issues we are working with uh, our development team as well as external vendors to get that sorted. But I think net net the overall experience uh, is glitch free now. You please look at it, uh, uh, check it out, and if you do feel there's still scope for improvement, please let us know. We are we are listening. Thanks. All right. Again, I'm repeating what Shankar said, Mr. Prashant. Uh, if you don't mind, please open the chat and uh, sorry and click on the form to answer your questions. Right. If you if you enter your question there, we'll be answering your questions. All your questions there. Thank you so much. Uh, so moving on to the next question. So Mr. Sunil uh, was asking regarding fund reviews and new IPO investments. So our take on that. Sure. Uh, so uh, new fund offers, NFOs and IPOs, uh, initial public offerings. Uh, we have been looking at them. In fact, we sent a communication midway. A lot of clients are thinking that uh, Savart does not recommend IPO investments at all. It's not that we don't recommend. We haven't recommended so far because we didn't find a great opportunity so far in terms of price, in terms of valuation, in terms of uh, the management, in terms of business. We need to see a fit only when then we go and make a recommendation for IPO. We are really selective uh, with especially IPO kind of investments because we love having time to make a decision and we just don't invest for the listing gains. So we since our focus is on long term and all of you are aligned with us in the long term, we don't think that just the listing is one uh, opportunity. It's like uh, 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 if you miss it, some it's it's not a big deal. Unless if there's a real, real good deal, real, real good IPO, then obviously we are open for it. We do not have any such bias that, no, we don't invest in IPOs. It's just that we haven't got great opportunity so far. When we do get it, you'll be the first guys to know. Okay. Yep. So I think... Uh, uh, one of the important questions, this is for Rahat, would be able to answer this question. Uh, like he's asking about growth. How does Savat's outlook is towards growth? How is it looking? Thank you. This is Rahat here. Yeah. I'll be happy to take that question. Uh, so um, just to let you guys know that if um, till now we were not really spending on marketing and in, as Sankash had already mentioned that we were growing organically and um, and but now we have a full fledged plan in terms of growth. We are using digital channels and digital uh, engagement tools internally using technology to its best uh, and trying to uh, grow the customer from where we are today 10 times in in about six to seven months so that's the kind of growth plan we have and um, we will continue to engage and take feedback from you all the customers you and the and many more who will come in to improve our experience improve the way we are communicating and improve the way we are uh, you know uh, the experience inside the app so that's the effort i, I am 100 percent sure that uh, the moment we take uh, put customer on the you know and in, in the center of everything we will be able to achieve uh, growth and in terms of building the brand we will constantly be available and be seen in some of the popular places where we will uh, expect people to click and experience the journey themselves so that's uh, practically what it is and the plans are very aggressive you will soon see us uh, in various uh, channels as well digital channels as well okay thank you Rod. Thank you. Uh, the next question is from Mr. Mohan. He wants to know, uh, you know, what sector should be concentrated for short term and long term investment? He also wants to know if we foresee any bubble in terms of investing this year. And he's asking us if we should still hold on to uh, the stocks that he's invested in or if there will be a recovery in the future. 
in the markets? I think uh, Sankash or Hiren. Hiren, I think you can take this question. Yes. Repeat the question, uh, uh, Derek. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll take that up if you don't mind, Hiren. That uh, it's about yeah, the portfolio. So in terms of uh, there are three parts to this question. Thanks, Derek. Uh, so number one, should we continue uh, holding on to the stocks, at least to the ones that Savart has suggested? Absolutely yes. And in terms of portfolio reviewed holdings, uh, depends on what we have given as a recommendation. Uh, we will, like I said, we will let you know whenever there is any exit rebalance kind of required. Second question, what sectors we like? We do yeah. not have any sectoral preference, but IT related sectors, wherever technology is linked to the business model. I think we have super preference for them. Uh, and you will see that bias in portfolio as well to a certain extent. But again, we follow a proper system and there's an algorithm that makes decision. Uh, so we, we don't kind of too much uh, meddle with the entire process. Uh, in terms of sectoral preference, I think we have to remain vague uh, because depending on the opportunities available in the market, kind of our Vantage uh, system kind of keeps recommending uh, what to do. Uh, in uh, so far, by the data that we have received and the recommendations that we have given so far, uh, you might have already noticed a trend that technology aligned or technology linked companies is something that we generally prefer, right? So that's the second preference. And third, in terms of uh, the market bubble, uh, could be or could not be. I will give you a small uh, interesting example. If you remember in uh, 2020, 2020, um, uh, early 2020 or late, uh, or midway, midway throughout the year, in fact, not late. Uh, there was a lot of um, uh, theories that market is going to crash. This is a bubble market started crashing and then that it would go down to zero. And there was a lot of uh, um, uh, kind of uh, fear that uh, perpetrated in the market, right? So the, a lot of people actually desisted from making investment. They said, we'll wait for the market to correct. Same thing happened in March last year as well, April last year as well. They said, let's wait for the market. It is going to go a lot down and then I will invest. You have seen what has happened to the market. It's It's been going up and up and up from all that while, from that first crash that happened due to COVID or post that. So in terms of uh, prediction, I think market bubbles, crashes, recessions keep happening. People keep uh, predicting them, but nobody has the accuracy to do it consistently. So all we can do is the same answer. We keep investing. If the market falls, we'll still have cash left to make investment. If the market grows, we already have an exposure in the market. So it's like a win-win. So that is why systematic investment is kind of what we recommend. Uh, Hiren, yeah, you want to uh, further yeah. add? So if, you, if you look at the historical data, right, even if you would have started investing at the market top, each of the tops before correction, right? you would have still made a lot of money. You would have still made a lot of money. And the beauty of systemic investment plan is when the market growth goes higher, you invest a little less. Uh, and when markets go lower, you directly invest more. So without worrying about where the market is moving, if you are investing in a quality stock, then um, you are more likely to outperform. Even if you invest in index, you are likely to outperform over a long period. I mean, uh, you are likely to perform good but if you are investing in quality stocks, which probably are uh, selections talks about, right? We have been earning um, clocking in uh, alpha that is above market returns of around 16%. Uh, that's that's uh, significantly better. So I, I guess the, um, that's that's the answer that systematic investment, as Sankas is saying, uh, is, is a very good way of investing right now. Okay. Thank you, Hiran. So I think the next question, Tita, uh, it's for Tita. Dheeraj, may, may I request you to talk about the questions, posting the question form in other languages also so that people uh, understand? Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, like we'll, if, if there are questions or anything that uh, we'll also address them in uh, like other languages as well. Sankash, you can no, take no, the what lead on that. The is the form where the form is lying, if you can specify that in other yeah. language. Okay. In Telugu. Right so uh, I like if for, we, we are uh, the form of uh, chat lo pettamandi for everyone ever the questions adugutunaro chat lo oka form undi please fill that form mira form fill cheste aa questions ma kanabadthe we will be able to answer ipudu answer chese questions anni aa form lo nunchi vachina questions e avi chadavi mem answer chestunnam so in case me question unte hand raise cheyakunda meeru aa form fill cheyandi aa form fill chesi mem answer chestanu ee question ni thank you yes. so yeah, hindi also i mean if you want i can do that yeah sure so, अभी हमने एक form का link डाला है अभी chat में. आप एक बार वो form पे click कीजिएगा and आप question answer uh, to uh, so, so that हम आप questions answer कर पाएं. 
जो भी क्वेश्चन अभी हम आंसर कर रहे हैं वो सब उसी फॉर्म के क्वेश्चन है उसी में से आंसर कर रहे हैं तो अगर आपको कोई क्वेश्चन है आप आप हाथ मत उठाइएगा आप अपना वो फॉर्म फिल कीजिएगा एंड हम आंसर कर लेंगे आपके सारे क्वेश्चन थैंक यू सो आई थिंक द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फॉर तीर्था so one of the mr kumar is asking if we are able to provide some sort of a communication to clients whenever there are market corrections or rebalance rebalances that are happening yeah hi mr kumar uh, good to have that question now if you would have already known that we have, my cdt team is fairly new in this organization because we felt that is the need so yes we are in the process of getting all the clients known of any recommendations but you will have to give us some time for me to cover the entire clientele base but you can be rest assured that you will get that form of communication from our end pretty soon yes and in the app we kind of have already integrated the communication and tita is also mentioning about a personal uh, communication so we are in progress of actually making a call to each one of you and letting you know about the application about the communication we are in progress of actually getting that done and tita team will get in touch with you definitely on a separate call or personal one on one call with each one of you actually that's definitely going to happen no doubt and additionally we're going to hold seminars or webinars like this every month so there yeah. will be an opportunity for one to one interaction plus a larger interaction like we having today yes okay so i think the next question is for shankar okay get out yeah. go ahead yeah in addition to that we are also implementing lot of uh, communication channels like whatsapp which will keep you updated on lots of the things that are happening uh, in terms of the latest news in terms of the um, new people joining in terms of our investments and things like that we'll keep you updated with everything that's our priority from now yeah thank thanks rahat uh, in fact we all missed that uh, uh, point like uh, we kind of uh, are integrating whatsapp as well uh, very very soon and uh, we we uh, we're ensuring that all communication not just reaches you through the app or email or chat but also through whatsapp specifically and uh, sorry i think uh, yeah so derek and neeraj and tejas can you look into it the, this uh, clients complaining that the form isn't working so maybe yeah, so we, we've sent yeah. a new form please use that sure 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 perfect yeah Okay, so next question to Sangarsh. So, uh, like uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Venki, uh, Venki is asking when will the brokers, uh, all the brokers, be integrated, and when will the issues with the current brokers be fixed? Perfect. Uh, so, uh, I think 10 to 15 uh, days or maximum, and uh, for the new brokers to be integrated, we are partnering with the uh, one or two separate companies who already have these uh, APIs ready-made, and we are also partnering individually with the brokers. so i think 10 to 15 days time uh, it's it's subject to a little 10% uh, plus or minus definitely because there's a lot of testing that also is required before we get back to you and with the current brokers i think couple of days all those issues will be sorted already uh, the transactions are going through today we had a lot of successful transactions through the api uh, integration even even that uh, 5 to 10% more issues i think will be solved in the next 2 3 days with the existing broker partners with new partners i think 10 to 15 days that's a timeline uh, definitely we could complete it and if there is any further delay as well we will ensure we communicate it to you through a communication for sure okay and some question one one reminder one more time in the chat box now we have a google form as well the yeah. earlier form wasn't working for some of some of our participants so please feel free to click yeah. on the google form and post your questions thank you yes uh, sorry for that please look at the new form uh, link uh, uh, that we mentioned docs.google.com/form that's that's a google form that uh, ajay has mentioned uh, please use that immediately and we'll we'll be taking more questions as well right uh, great uh, neeraj next question mr so mr uh, suvarna is asking for like how much returns can we expect from a mutual fund in a span of a year uh so uh, difficult question in terms of uh, it's uh, we need a lot of more details first is this comes into the prediction category which our team is not very good at but uh, you have seen our returns already uh, suvarna in terms of what we have done in the past with the mix of mutual fund stock and sometimes just mutual fund just stock as well uh, but i think uh, it's in in general not just with mutual fund a 
a great expectation to keep in mind for the long term is a 12 to 15 percent yearly return with respect to equity investments. Now you might say no, no, I got a lot more than that already with Savart or XYZ or in the market, but markets are always not going to be like this. On an average in the long term, 12 to 15 is what we try to achieve in the next like 10, 15 years. At Savart, our motto is to do much more, but why we don't kind of talk about it much and rather show you with performance is because we want to focus on, on the longer uh, uh, term aspect. Keep your expectations also very practical and our expectations very practical and nobody gets a false kind of a promise or a guarantee kind of stuff. We are very uh, conscious about it because you notice even when our team talks to you, we try to be very careful in terms of not saying, yeah, 25% guaranteed. We did 34, we will give you 34 for next 10 years. No, we try to do our best. We try to outperform the market and give you the best return. But please do not believe us or any XYZ person in the market who says that they will guarantee any return. Forget 30, 40, 20. Even if somebody says I'll guarantee 10% return continuously, please do not believe them. Right? It's either a scam or they do not know what they're talking about. Please be very careful with such people. Right. All right. So another important question from Mr. Raghava is like the subscription price for for investments like with Savard have been increasing a, a lot. So it yeah. was thousand, then two thousand. Now it's almost five thousand. Yes. So like yes. it's better like his recommendation is we should yeah. take the subscription base price based on the investment amount. Correct. Got it. So there were uh, this is a great question. So we we tried a lot doing that, but we also have to uh, comply to the SEBI regulations. Uh, Raghava, there are certain regulations on say example profit sharing kind of stuff is not allowed. Performance fees is not allowed for an RIA. So we had to kind of keep making shifts depending on how the compliance and regulations are maturing over time. So I would definitely say yes, we have increased the prices uh, multiple times over the past. But believe us, we, we will ensure that our existing clients do not face a huge hit on their pocket and their investment will not be affected by the price rises. We will ensure you are very suitably and reasonably charged and our prices have always been reasonable and affordable compared to the market. We will continue to do so and the pace of increase in price. You will also see that it will come down a lot. In fact, we do not have any further plans to raise a price at the moment at least. And uh, we will uh, we have a lot of discounts for students. For example, we never want to alienate any small retail individual investor. Anybody who's just starting the market and we, we are also small investors into the market, right? We do not want to be alienated as well as a client as well or or uh, anybody who wants to just start with say, 10,000. You might say that Arik, for 10,000 investments, our is charging 5,000. What money will I make in reality? We are giving much discount to people who are actually making smaller investment just to ensure that they do not get left out of stock market just because of high prices of subscription. Already ours is low. We'll go even lower for people and we will never never uh, uh, make it uh, inconveniencing for you that you not invest at, as it is like in, in the end, right? We will not let that happen. We will ensure your investments happen smoothly. Our fees do not hurt you much. So for students, we have discount. For military personnel, we have discount. For farmers, we have discount. For small investors, we have discount. So please talk to our CDT team as well. And there are many of you who have been with us since 2019, 2017 also, many of you. So please feel free. You are already, you guys are in touch with us and you know everything about how, why the price hike happened, what has happening. So do not think that Prices are going to keep rising and then it's going to get unaffordable. We we have your interests in mind, your best interests in mind. OK, so again, like because the previous forms are not working. So like Sankash, question from Mr. Chandra. OK, so when you yeah. say long term investments, what would be the minimum number of years we need to be yeah. invested in the market for uh, uh, getting a decent portfolio? Yes, so I would suggest uh, last time also, I think in the webinar we mentioned a minimum of three year horizon, three years, right? I repeat three years is the minimum, not the average, not the maximum I'm talking about. A minimum three year time horizon is what Sauer defines as three years. Uh, in fact, long term, sorry, right? So anything over and beyond that is what we call long term. So when we tell people, so please invest for long term, ma'am, please invest for long term, it means three years plus. And there is no set definition for this in the market. Somebody calls 10 years long term, somebody calls one year long term, some people even call six months long term. So this is our definition. Please don't think this is market definition. It's different for everybody. But we would suggest Chandra, at least three years, please be with us. Okay, 
So next question uh, from Mr. Srikant. Uh, why is Savart advising the same stock over and over? Sure, I'll answer that very popular question. We got a lot of people have thought that's a kind of bug in the system and that's why they're getting the same stock again and again. Absolutely not. In fact, uh, this is not just uh, 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 Mr. Sri Khan's question. This is a lot of people's question across the organization, including, including clients and the team as well. Now, please understand this concept that every time if we keep giving you a new stock, your portfolio be will become bloated. It will become too big, right? 20, 30, 40, 50 stock in your portfolio, you'll become like a mini mutual fund, right? You're coming to us for better return. So we want to build concentrated portfolios for you, which means when you make multiple requests, you may get same stock many times because we want you to top up your additional investment on top of it. You might have a small disappointment. We understand that, hey, we are not getting any new stock this time, but please understand it's in your interest only. We can give you new stock every time, but does it add any value to you? Not always. So we will add new stock, new investment, but not always, not repeatedly. Please bear with us. Please reinvest into the same stock or mutual fund or whatever investment that we're recommending. Please reinvest because we are looking at the price also. If the price falls, price correction, there's a better valuation for the same company. We should make an investment, right? And that's what we are recommending to all of you. So that is not a bug. That is not an error in the application. Please do not get confused. Please follow the advice properly. And we understand that slight disappointment. We will add more stock also to your portfolio over time. But please be patient with this with this particular requirement. We will get it done for you. In the final stage, your portfolio should not be more than like 15, 20, 35. There are many investors, great investors who had even 100 stock in the portfolio and outperformed. But again, our philosophy is to have a concentrated portfolio, to have a smaller number of stock and then kind of make the investment. So please give us time. It will perform definitely. And we are indeed performing already. Right. Sankash, next question to you. Yeah. Uh, Hiren, uh, sorry. Hiren, uh, Hiren wants to say something. Yeah. Yeah. See, if I, if I can add a couple of points here, right? I mean, if you look at most of the biggest investors who have made a lot of money or made a big living out of investing, they would have uh, made money out of few stocks, which can be counted on their fingertips. And each one has one thing in particular. If you talk of somebody, you might think of Titan. If you talk of somebody, an international investor, you might think of Coke. Right. So there are a couple of different investors, but the money is made by a couple of stocks only. So diversification is a tool which may not add uh, to excellent returns over uh, the menu. That, that, that does not uh, necessarily mean uh, it's, it's a better return. That's what I wanted to add. OK, so uh, Sankash, next question is a personal question to you. Uh, like, uh, hello? One sec. Uh, sorry, sorry, I muted myself. Yeah, go ahead. So Sankar, uh, it's a it's quite personal question to you from Mr. Nishant. He wants to know progress on your aerospace startup. Uh, aerospace startup, okay. So Nishant, hi. I think uh, we we uh, I I re recollect having a, a long conversation with you in the past. And uh, thanks, thanks for joining the webinar as well. And uh, Nishant, I think uh, we we are doing good with that uh, uh, startup, and uh, there's a uh, lot of progress. We've just um, I think in two to three months from now, we would be starting the manufacturing facility where uh, we are uh, building kind of uh, India's first uh, private space shuttle. And we have also a kind of uh, a patent for uh, the vehicle as well. It's called the Rendezvous. We will and uh, it's the website is starter.com, S-T-A-R-D-O-U-R.com. It's still not like fully up and running and stuff. There's a lot of work going on. But in the next two, three months, I think we're going to make super progress and we're going to make a public uh, announcement as well on when the uh, space journeys and space flights are going to start. It's going to be a while. Don't expect it to happen next year. But uh, we, we are on progress to do that and we built a great team as well. And uh, because this thing came up, uh, we are uh, opening our new office uh, for Savart as well as Starter in uh, high tech city in Hyderabad. In uh, so many of you know the uh, the IKEA store right in 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 the high tech city area. Uh, it's just on the opposite side of IKEA. Uh, it's also near Mindspace and the high tech metro uh, uh, station. It's just 80 meters from there. We'll be updating the actual GPS location because as soon as we move there, we'll put the actual location on our website and app as well. And all of you are uh, 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 kind of welcome to visit 
and uh, meet us at uh, whatever time you wish and you can just uh, schedule an appointment or a call with in, on the website or app and we would love to meet you all and uh, just for information even the starlord team is also going to work from the same office so you will see uh, uh, space and stock market uh, kind of going together there so just a piece of information great thanks thanks right. uh, Niraj. So, so next question from mr j uh, so first question was from him was regarding if you are opening new services for short term and other types of uh, invest uh, like trading or uh, other services and second question from him is if given a choice would you prefer to invest in stocks or mutual funds yeah uh, so great uh, and just before we go to the uh, answer uh, neeraj has been only taking your first names and last names and all of your interest of your privacy you guys must be thinking who is just mr jane or something on who is nishant like uh, we are only taking your first and last names in interest of your own privacy please understand that uh, and uh, coming to the answer uh, in terms of uh, my preference i think we, we don't have a specific preference we have slight bias towards stock in the company but i wouldn't say that's even a bias because depending on market situation vantage kind of makes shift sometimes more stock sometimes more mutual fund uh, because last time you saw during the covid crash uh, we had lot of liquid fund lot of mutual fund also but now we have more stock in the portfolio so i would say no preference at the moment stock is in the flavor definitely stocks is much more in our portfolio at the moment and uh, uh, second question we do have a new service personal finance uh, uh, advisory which is going to come say in 3 to 4 months from now we are also going to have per what does personal finance mean your asset liabilities net worth your overall financial plans financial health we are going to get that assessed within the savart app itself we are not going to do insurance and credit cards and loans and all of that please don't confuse it with that kind of personal finance this is only uh, a fine uh, investment perspective led personal finance that we are talking about right your finances to ensure you are able to achieve your goals and make the best investments so that new service is going to add short term not our specialization we don't believe in uh, that and we are not going to do that anytime soon yeah so here in you can you want to add something so um, so only only thing i would add is that um, um, each particular individual has a completely different need and there is a completely different risk appetite one is having so we have personalized for each particular investor depending on his risk appetite depending on when he wants the money back what he is thinking about what is his long term goal depending on that we would be our, our systems would be determining whether it would go to uh, in mutual fund or in stocks for example if a person's daughter is uh, is saving for his uh, his daughter's marriage and that comes in 7 years with a similar risk profile if somebody else with similar earning similar everything his, uh, his daughter is getting married in say uh, 12 years then he would have a completely different portfolio than the person whose daughter is getting married in 5 years so that's that's something which uh, which is very very subjective that's that's very very personalized and second what sankar added is it's um, it's also to do with the market factors what is happening at what point of time right what our systems are gearing up to so this is what i'll add thanks okay yes. okay moving on to the next question uh, so we have uh, mr rishi asking if we can invest in corporate funds or should we go with mutual uh, liquid funds uh, it's a mix we do have corporate bond funds as well liquid funds as well uh, whatever you have received in the advice from us please uh, go with that it's it's based on your suitability actually it's not like one answer for everybody and neeraj so, uh, can you also take questions from the uh, yeah, uh, from yeah i'm i'm mixing both of them Yeah, I'm people have asked that. first; they are getting lost, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm already doing that. Great. So again, uh, again, Mr. Nagaraju was asking regarding the broking account. So Sankar has already addressed that, Mr. Nagaraju. You can, if in case you missed the uh, like parts of the webinar, all of this recording will be uploaded on YouTube very soon. You can always uh, revisit the webinar and uh, you know go ahead and check the questions specifically. There will be timestamps also for specific questions. Right. Moving on. we have uh, mr anand who is asking what are the security measures regarding the da data privacy that we've taken and uh, you know what uh, like what have uh, been like vulnerability issues so i think ms yeah sure i think uh, uh, oh, okay i'll take that question uh, fine in in terms of uh, data security measures i think from the day one even in our previous application we used the uh, best standards and practices whether it's uh, 
uh, uh, the SSL, whether it's encryption. I'm uh, please excuse uh, me the fact that I don't know these technical jargon, but we have taken the best standards and measures to ensure all data privacy. In fact, even when we work with the third party vendors and third party partners, we kind of do not kind of let out any information. So uh, th there have been two, three uh, kind of uh, uh, issues in this industry where people have kind of leaked data and a lot of issues have happened. I don't think Savart has ever been uh, involved and then we have not had any such reports or complaints as well in terms of data security. You can be rest assured that at least for commercial purpose or anything like that, your data is really, really not used and nobody has access except our team and that too very limited information there are certain protocols on even accessing that information and there is a, a, a separate class or set of information which is personally identifiable information which is really not accessible to anybody within the company which is securely stored on cloud and uh, even for cloud security even for our website home page mobile web and mobile app we have taken all the measures that we can uh, we have also kind of i think worked with a third party uh, cyber security agency to do conduct a small initial preliminary audit and we will also be conducting a very thorough audit very soon uh, a much much detailed one the previous one was a kind of a, a, a teaser kind of a stuff for the main one so that's being done and uh, the last thing you can notice even even the way we conduct ourselves so for example even the names we are not taking in in complete uh, the first and last name together so even in the google form that data that you have given pretty secure all the things whether it's uh, technology wise or otherwise it's pretty secure with us no doubt okay another important question from uh, mr ram prasad uh, was uh, i think this tita can take right uh, so this question is he's asking if we will be assigning relationship managers to individual clients because every time they're calling a client or calling our numbers uh, they'll have to start their they have to have to state the problem all over again so oh yeah yeah so with regard to the question i think over a period of time that is what my goal is with my team but you will also have to allow me some time because my clientele base is huge and for me to establish that one to one rapport where people remember my team by name will take some time but yes that is also in progress and will be addressed soon yeah okay uh, next question from mr prashant and also a popular question was regarding unlisted investments we've discussed this in our previous in, uh, webinar and yes. they are interested in space and other startups that are unlisted yes uh, so uh, we are sorry that uh, we have we forgot to update on that we uh, in fact i personally have made uh, certain attempts and uh, kind of uh, deep research along with the research team in kind of figuring out the regulation and process for that luckily there have been certain developments in the last couple of months itself which is making it easier for retail investors to make uh, private investments. There is also clarity coming up on accredited investors, which uh, before it was not very clear from the regulation side. So I think in the next couple of months, starting now, we are going to get more clarity on uh, who can invest in unlisted, who can not, what is the minimum net worth requirement if there is any, if there is any minimum amount requirement as well. And very soon we can enable that uh, for all subject to compliance being allowed. From a technology availability perspective, we are super ready. But for regulation, clarity is what we are waiting. There are already certain startups and companies which have started giving the service, but we are not really sure of how feasible and uh, compliant those activities are. We will wait for complete clarity with the SEBI uh, before we start that service, but we are working on it. If, if uh, that is allowed, I can guarantee that Savat will add that to the portfolio definitely, if compliance allows. If not, in your best interest, we will not do that. Simple. So, and okay. I can't promise timelines. Sorry for that, because uh, that that thing is not in our hands, basically. So, we will try our best. We'll keep you updated. Okay. Another very popular question asked by Mr. Sanjeet was regarding uh, investment requests. So, in our previous application, we gave, there was an option where the clients could have entered a note when they were requesting for advice. So, yes. that feature is not there in our latest application. Uh, that uh, yeah sure and i see a similar question about mutual fund and stock option also not being there in one of the forms so i think these two uh, features have been slightly changed it's not that these have been removed if you notice in the investment profile based on the duration of investment if you click 
uh, up to three years, more than three years, and beyond, uh, 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 even like very very long term. Based on that, you will see what assets you are going to get recommended. But yes, we have got this feedback. People have not liked that change. We will reinstate the mutual fund stock option back into the request advice feature, where you can choose. You want stock, mutual fund, or both also. We will give you that power very soon, no doubt. And second, this note note has converted into a make a special request option in the same page. There we are asking, do you want ELSS, IPO, NFO? Because what happens, Sanjit, is that uh, if if people are typing in, uh, we will have to manually kind of read every single note, and sometimes the language is not clear. There are misunderstandings happening. Rather, we have converted that into an optional choice where you can just tick boxes. I want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. So it makes easier for you all. So we are adding more options into it. So in the next uh, uh, quick upgrade that we are making, you will see MF and stock option back, and you will also see the specifications increasing in number. Both will be sorted definitely. Okay. So I think this will be the final question from Kashish. So guys, we've run out of time, but uh, do not worry. If you are question any specific question that has not been answered, we have another webinar planned. Uh, like like we said, and Tita and the CDD team will be actively reaching out to you to answer all of your questions. So please yes. be rest assured that all of your questions will be answered. Right. Yes. So again, uh, last question from Kashish. Uh, he asked if we can have a feature where we are sending uh, performance reports or uh, where we are comparing performance reports with Nifty, S&P and other indexes. Uh, sure, we don't have that yet in the application. We will have that definitely. We'll consider that new idea, new feature. I think that's very important as well. Uh, that was, I think, being discussed by one of the team member already. But let's push it more and uh, please note that down, uh, Tejas, yeah. uh, at your end as well. And uh, we, we will get that done, Kashish, for sure. No problem. And one request to, uh, to Tirtha, I, I can see around close to 100 uh, more questions still unanswered, or, or I think 60, 60, sorry, 60, 61 uh, responses still not being done in the form. I would request you to actually call those clients in person and please make uh, responses for them uh, by the end of the day, please. So, so, so whoever has taken their valuable time to attend this webinar, I don't want any of their questions to kind of be unanswered. Please, please do that by end of day. Sure. So that's it. That's it from my end. Thanks, uh, Nidhar. All right. So, yep, I think we're good. Ajay, you have something? Uh, okay. Um, you want to you want to talk a little bit about the poll that's coming in? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, we we are also posting a poll, guys. Uh, uh, like uh, for, for feedback regarding this webinar, like like we said, this is the first time we are doing webinar in this format. We've done webinars before, but this is the first time we are this, of the many regular re webinars. So all your feedback is very, very important to us so that our next uh, webinar is that much better. Right. So please take your valuable time to give uh, give your response so that we will be able to make this webinar that much better. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, so, Neeraj, uh, the web, uh, the poll is where is it available near the chat? The F. It's, sign? it's, it's in the chat window. Uh, ne next to the chat window as well, right? F. Yes. Okay, and next seminar would be on 25th of February. Uh, webinar. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you can show that slide, Tejas. Uh, yeah. as, as it, so, as that slide comes up, um, uh, thank you for your patience. I know we run over our promised time. But once again, really, really glad to have you here with us. I think your questions are very insightful uh, and will ensure that every single day we become better at serving your needs. A lot of you see us as investment experts. Some of you see us as app, uh, but really we are your partners in your journey to build wealth, in your journey for your financial freedom. And like I said, we, we are looking forward to being in touch. Uh, we will, of course, reach out to you constantly and proactively, but feel free to reach out as well. Um, comments, questions, issues um, individually. Of course, as you see, we are, we are, we are now on a schedule to hold uh, such, such uh, group conversations every month. And 25th Feb is our next uh, meeting. With that, thank you so much again. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, thank uh, Team Savard, for joining in. Thanks, everybody. Hiren, over to you. Do you have any closing thank, comments? Thank you very much, everybody. And um, um, I just want to um, end it up with saying that uh, look forward to seeing you again on 25th February. And we are working very hard. Uh, we we really, really appreciate your time, taking out the time on uh, Friday uh, late afternoons and uh, helping us understand your perspective. We would be taking all of your comments, queries, uh, questions very seriously, and we'll be working on that. Thank you. Thanks.
Thank you.